guys welcome back to my channel you don't know it's your girl shooks the queen of recipe here to share with you today my sorrel sangria recipe yes this is authentic and very delicious so guys um, here I have some sun-dried sorrel and this is what I will be using to make my sorrel sangria you don't have to use the sun-dried sorrel you can use undried sorrel but at this time of the year I'm pretty sure that it is going to be easier to find the sun-dried ones in the supermarket but you can use either one so um, the ratio for preparing the sorrel is I used four cups of water hot boiling water to one cup of the sun-dried sorrel so four cups of water to one cup of the sorrel if you do not know how to prepare your sorrel drink let me go over for you so what you need to do you need to put a pot on the stove and ensure that it is boiling when the water is boiling beat a piece of ginger about it depends on how much sorrel you're, you're making but beat a piece of ginger scrape it peel it wash it nicely beat it and put it into the water to boil when the water is boiling then you're going to add your sorrel to the water turn off your stove cover the pot and leave it overnight in the morning you stir all you have to do is just strain off your sorrel some people put a cinnamon stick in the sorrel it's up to you what kind of flavor you're looking for so that's how you prepare your sorrel so here this is what I have here so I already had this from Christmas and this is my sorrel drink and to preserve this I have just some white JNA rum and a few seeds of pimento in here and this is what I use to um, preserve my sorrel also I had it on the fridge so this is the sorrel drink that I'll be using to prepare our sorrel sangria so what we're gonna do we're gonna get ready our fruits that we will be using so here I have a kiwi so all I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the skin from the kiwi. So I'm just peeling this off nicely. This is very quick and easy, guys. The hardest part really is to get your sorrel drink ready. And that's pretty easy as well. As I said, all you have to do, put some water on the stove to boil. Put your dried or your undried sorrel into the water. Turn off your stove, leave it overnight, and strain it off in the morning. Beautiful. And these are already washed, guys. Make sure you wash your fruits nicely because your fruits even the lemon i'm not gonna peel my lemon so you need to make sure that it is washed nicely so we're just cutting our lemon and we're gonna put a few slices in our our juice jug as well guys trust me this sangria this sorrel sangria when you try this recipe it's absolutely amazing so that's for my lemon and I'm going to go in with my orange and I'm doing the same for the orange remember as I said guys and it's up to you guys you can cut your orange in in, um, in halves like that or you can just put them in just like this but they're they are a little bit larger so I'm gonna cut those like so the lemon is smaller so you don't need to cut the lemon 
So we're going in with our orange. And I try to use these color fruits because I didn't want to use like strawberries or stuff like that. But you can. But I mean, I'm doing a red sangria. So I didn't want any more red fruit in my sangria. So for the apples, I'm just going to cut them just like so. And I'm just going to put those in as well. And I'm putting alcohol in my sangria, guys. If you do not like alcohol, you can go without alcohol, okay? So here we have our fruits ready. So now I'm just gonna peel a piece of ginger. I'm just gonna dice these just like so and put it in there gives it a great flavor even though our sorrel already had ginger in there this will make a lot of difference I love ginger guys so you don't have to add the ginger because it's already gonna be in the sorrel it's optional but so what we're gonna do now we are going to add I'm going to add some Jerry and a few rum and as I'm saying this is up to you you do not have to add the rum okay so here I'm adding one eighth cup of my rum Jerry and every rum and I am going in with one eighth cup also of my red label wine Or if you want the alcohol in your sangria, but you do not want this amount, of course you can cut the portion, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add our sorrel. And this is unsweetened. This is unsweetened. So what you can do, you can add some sugar. Oops. Lovely. So you add, we add our sorrel. And let's just clean up a little bit, guys. Okay, so we cleaned up a little bit. And of course, it's a sorrel sangria. So we're going to add a few of our sorrel in our juice jug and what we're gonna do now we're gonna just put a few more slices of our lemon just on top just like so you know yes and probably a slice of our orange Guys, give this video a thumbs up if you like this sorrel sangria recipe. Leave me a comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscription button, guys. And we're just going to do a little mini right here. I have some ice. Just a little mini. And here, let me show you guys. Here or the pimento seeds you can just put them back in there it helps to preserve your sorrel so here I have a mini and as I'm saying guys you can sweeten this you can sweeten it you can put some I love using cane sugar 
but you can use whatever sugar you like or sweetener or you can just have it just like that so we're just gonna finish up our mini and voila our sangria our sangria is ready wow look at that guys isn't that beautiful yes and it even tastes better awesome and delicious guys give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscription button here now you have your sangria feel free go ahead pour a glass and please do enjoy thank you for stopping by i appreciate you guys so much thank you for the support thank you for watching until next time stay safe